Welcome into the inaugural segment of Football 101 here at PhiladelphiaEagles.com. I'm former NFL offensive lineman Ross Tucker, also the host of the Ross Tucker Football Podcast. We're glad you're here. We're as excited about football starting as you guys are. My job, though, for the next few weeks is going to be to educate you. I want to make sure that you know more than any of your buddies, any of your coworkers, and especially your father-in-law and or brother-in-law, if you have them, about the sport of football. We're going to start today by talking a little bit of defense. You hear 4-3, you hear 3-4. What really is the difference and why do teams employ each? Pretty simple. 4-3 means four defensive linemen, three linebackers, 3-4, three, three defensive linemen, four linebackers. The number one reason why teams run one scheme or the other is pretty simple, and it comes down to personnel. Do they have more good defensive linemen, or do they have more good linebackers to employ a 3-4? There are also other benefits that we'll get into in terms of a 4-3 and a 3-4 as well. First thing we want to look at is sort of your base 4-3 over front. What you really want to be looking at to tell the difference between a 4-3 over and a 4-3 under is the defensive tackles. Right there, you've got Marcus Kuhn. He's on the outside shoulder of Zach Martin. Now look, you've got Jason Witten over here as the tight end. That's the strong side of the offense's formation. So if the defensive tackles are shifted over, like Marcus Kuhn and Jonathan Hankins are, and slanted towards Jason Witten, it is an over front. Now we'll get into this in subsequent episodes here of Football 101, but Marcus Kuhn is in a three technique on the outside shoulder of Zach Martin. Jonathan Hankins is in a one technique on the backside shoulder of the center. But really, the defensive tackles being over towards the tight end is what indicates that it is a 4-3 over front. And then, of course, it's just a little inside run to the left side, and Jonathan Hankins did his job. I used to always love, absolutely love, running weak side against that. Now we're going to take a look at a 4-3 under front, and what you want to look at here again is the defensive tackles. Now, once again, you've got to the right side of the formation, you've got the strength. So both of the 49ers tight ends are to the strength of the formation over there. So instead of the Seahawks having an over front where this defensive tackle, Kevin Williams, would be on the outside shoulder of the right guard, Alex Boone. Instead, he's on the play side shoulder of the center. The other defensive tackle is on the backside shoulder of the left guard. They call this an under front, and the Seahawks do it more than anybody else. The main reason why they do it is because they believe that that nose guard can eat up that center and, and essentially stuff any run plays that happen there. We'll take a look and see exactly what happened on this play. It's a little power scheme, and Frank Gore cuts it back, and the backside defensive tackle is able to get in on the play. It was a, black, uh, a back block, I should say, by the center, and the backside defensive tackle able to get in and make that play in the 4-3 under front. Now we'll actually take a look at a 3-4 front. This is a base 3-4 front. And what you want to notice here, it's pretty obvious, right? You've got three down linemen in their stances. You guys know who they are. Cedric Thornton, Benny Logan, and Fletcher Cox. And then four linebackers. What makes this a base 3-4 is that everybody's essentially lined up, head up, maybe a little bit inside if you see the defensive ends, Cox and Cedric Thornton, but essentially head up on the man that they will be combating on that play. That is what makes it a 3-4 front when they're in a base alignment on the inside shoulder, maybe even head up of that offensive tackle. The job of all of those guys up front is to two-gap the guy they're going against. Lynch cuts it all the way back here, and Fletcher Cox shows why he is Fletcher Cox. I mean, for him to just throw Russell Lacoon and make that play, that's why Fletcher Cox is one heck of a player. Last but certainly not least, let's look at a 3-4 under front. And the point to make here is that just because it's a 3-4 doesn't mean that they always have to be lined up in a base look. So it's still 3-4 personnel front, 
but this is really an underlook out of 3-4 personnel. And the key guy to look at there is number 58, Brooks Reed, the outside linebacker who's head up on the tight end. So if you remember, this actually looks very similar to the under front we showed with Seattle, where you've got the defensive tackle to the tight end inside of the offensive guard to that side. But instead of it being a defensive end on the tight end, it's an outside linebacker because the Houston Texans elected to stay in 3-4 personnel on this play. And we'll again see how this play sorts itself out. Seems like there's a lot of cutting back going on. That happens more often than you think in the NFL. So now that we have a pretty good idea of a base 4-3 over, a base 4-3 under, 3-4 base as well as a 3-4 under, you have a little bit of a better idea of where we're going with this thing and what the base fronts are. In the next episode, we'll actually tell you what those techniques mean. When I say a one technique or a three technique, you're gonna know exactly what that means on the next segment of Football 101 here at PhiladelphiaEagles.com, which of course, you can always access the archives of this as well, so you never have to miss an episode.